Good morning, happy Wednesday. 20 past seven, I'm just back with Charlie and made my breakfast. It's uh, not as windy today, thank goodness. And it's it's okay, nice, nice walk out today. Uh, so I've got my coffee made with skimmed milk and I've got porridge again. So I've got 40 grams of ready brek. Now I much prefer ready brek to the um, other porridges you can have for a healthy extra B. Uh, then I've got a chopped pear in there and I've made it with 150 ml of skimmed milk and 50 ml of boiled water. I've started adding boiled water because it seems to make it a, a little bit smoother. And then I've got five grams of chocolate powder for one sin. So my breakfast is my health extra B and one sin. Good morning, Mr. Fawcett. Morning. How are you? I'm all right, are you? How's your Wednesday? I don't know, I've not had it yet. Are you having a nice week off? Yeah, it's nice and relaxing. And what are you making today? I'm going to make a mess today. You're making chicken? Chicken chasseur. That's the one look. So this is another Coleman's packet and I've just checked the sins and it's seven sins again. So we like to use these because they are really convenient. Of course you can make your own Slimming World Sin Free version. But when you make, when you want something quick, easy and convenient then these are the answer along with a slow cooker. So I've got about three chicken breasts. This is to serve us two. So for my portion, it'll be three and a half sins. About three chicken breasts, an onion. What is that? Just cold water? Yeah. Right, go on then. So I cut these up. These were, I think it was like... Whole chicken breasts. Yeah, they were probably equivalent to about two and a half yeah. chicken breasts, really. Um, so I just cut them up. And it's a crock pot. Slow cooker. <clears throat> Just remove the skin off the onion. goes in there as well. Then how many mils of water is it? There's 400 in there. Four, 400 mils of water. And three quarters of a pint. Yeah. So keep that, I'll, I'll have a first of it later. So but basically all you need to do is add the mix to the water. Can anybody guess what you do next? I suppose if you wanted a bit a bit more if a bit a bit fancier you could um could do half water and half white wine or something like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, just for a bit more flavour. Give it a good whisk. <coughs> yeah. Pour it in. And then literally put the lid on. On low for about six or seven hours. Probably, yeah, see what it's like after six hours. And if you're around in the house, give it a stir. But if not, it'll be absolutely fine. And that is our chicken casserole. That's how easy it is. Thank you. It's, yes. Have a good day. Yes, you as well. So here we are, Wednesday lunchtime, slowly progressing through the week, and I've got a rice bowl. Now bear with me a second, because it is slightly complicated. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've made up a packet of the Aldi Golden Vegetable Savoury Rice, which is free on the plan from Aldi. I've then mixed the whole packet of rice with the rest of the tin of chickpea dal from yesterday and then I've split that into two so there's half of that there. Then into both portions I've added fried chicken, the usual 
frozen one that I get from Iceland. I'll have to show you the packet one day. Um, but it's roast chicken just into chunks and frozen. And then peppers, onions and tomatoes. Fried all that off and stirred that into the rice. I've got that with some green leaves that need using up. And a banana and a plum. So all that is free on the plan and speed. Yum, yum. I do love that uh, chickpea dal. And I have just checked on Morrison's and it's out on my Morrison's online and it's out of stock. So I'm going to have to call in and see if I can get hold of any. Hello, it is half past four and we are coming to the end of another working day. Uh, just thought I'd come on and have a little chat with you because I wanted to talk about this. So it's, this is the Mazada chickpea dal. This is what I've had yesterday and today for my lunch. Uh, obviously we normally use it, or I normally use it in curry loaves, in which it is delicious. Um, but recently I have been blending it and using it as like a curry sauce and it is absolutely delicious. So this is the Mazada chickpea dal. It is free on Slimming World. I've just checked the app again and I can't find any other brand of chickpea dal that is absolutely sin free. And I know that this is really, really hard to get hold of. Um, I think it's a pound usually in Morrison's. The only place I've seen it recently is Morrison's. They were stocked in B&M for a little while but they're not any longer and recently in Morrison's they've been very hard to get hold of but I have done a public service for you. I went on Morrison's and I noticed that there was a contact information for the supplier so I've been very brave something I wouldn't have done I wouldn't have done this before public vlogging and things like that I have rang the supplier and I've said to them, look, um, Richard was his name. I said, um, me and my friends are finding it very hard to get hold of your product, the Mazada chickpea dal. This is not sponsored or anything, by, but by the way, uh, it's just something that I buy myself and I've discovered even more of a love for it recently. Um, me and my friends are having trouble finding your chickpea dal. And he said, oh, well, I've got good news on that front. Morrison's have just put in a, a new big order. And we're trying to get restocked in B&M. Um, and so I said to him, well, we really, really love your product because it's sin free and it's delicious and it makes things quick and easy. So he said, send me an email about your uh, problems with finding the stock and we'll have a word with Morrison's. So I've sent him a little email. So fingers crossed, we will be able to find them easily, easier. But yeah, at the moment it's only available in Morrison's. Uh, I don't know what food aisle because I usually shop online. So if Jane or Tracy is watching, uh, or anybody else who buys it, who is able to buy it and can find it in Morrison's, if you can comment below what food aisle it's in or what um, uh, what products, what similar products it's next to, then that would be great. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I'm really, pr I'm actually, I know it's silly, but I'm actually proud that I've done something like that because although it is my area of work, um, sort of ringing and phoning and speaking to people. It doesn't really translate across to my private life. Um, so yeah, I've been brave today. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm only coughing because I'm talking. So I'll shut up now. I'll go out with Alfie, Charlie, and then I'll have an even my evening meal. So as I've just come down from work, I found Andrew doing the roast potatoes and this is another question I get asked quite a bit. So we've got red potatoes uh, at the moment and there's about three potatoes worth there. And we've got our Actifry slow cookers still going. 
That's what it looks like. Oh. And we've got the Oxo Cube being crushed. So that is a beef Oxo Cube. <coughs> so we now individually dry. They've been patted dry, they've been rinsed under the tap once peeled. Patted dry with the tea towel and then individually dried with kitchen roll. I have shown this before, but I do get a lot of questions about um, the chicken casserole and the potatoes, not just on here, but on Facebook and Instagram as well. So into the active fry. Spray with fry light. You can always spray it again halfway through cooking. And then sprinkle over an oxo cube. There is also a way to do this in the oven, but it's different. You actually make the stock up. and leave it roasting in the tray, but uh, we love our active fry. And they'll take, what, about 25 minutes? Half an hour. Half an hour. So my tea will be ready when I get back from walking. Charlie, are we going walking? You don't look like you want to go out. Are you putting it on? Yum yum. Here we are then. I've just walked in from uh, walking Charlie and my tea is on the table. So I've got chicken chasseur. So it's using the Coleman's chicken chasseur packet, which is seven sins for the whole packet. Three and a half sins for my serving. So there's my chicken breast and the mix done in the slow cooker. Andrew's Oxo roast potatoes and mixed veg, the same one in a frozen bag from Morrison's. Carrots, cauliflower and broccoli. Uh, my usual sweetened quark with a pear and some peanut butter skinny syrup and a sugar-free Vimto. What are you doing? Are you waiting for playtime? Well, it's now snack time on Wednesday evening. We've both had showers and Andrew's had another relaxing day. I keep trying to get him to put the Christmas tree up, but he says that is definitely my job. Uh, so we'll see what happens at the weekend. But first, I'm going to have my evening snacks. Well, once this programme is finished that we're watching about hoarders anyway, because it's not very nice trying to eat when you're seeing other people's rubbish uh, piled up in their houses. But yeah, I don't know what we're going to watch after that. Find something. But um, I've got this packet of Walker's oven baked sticky barbecue flavour. These were on offer in Morrison's a couple of weeks ago. They are five and a half sins. I've got a persimmon fruit, which is free food and a tasty little numbers bar. This is the milk chocolate one and they are 100 calories or five sins. So there's uh, nine and a half sins there and I've had three and a half, four sins elsewhere in the day. So what does that add up to? 14 sins is it? Something like that. And I've got my coffee when I've boiled the kettle. So yeah. 13, 14 since today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.